Yeah, I don't know what. what well, it is. I I don't know. Does it does it is there a risk of it hitting steel? Of the blade hitting. I I've never taken it this low, so I'm kind of curious. Let's start it up and just ease into it. I'll watch it and you watch it. Okay. So so hey everybody, here we are back at. Josh's place, Essential Mountain Homestead, okay. and uh, we are about four months later. <laughs> no, no it snow, feels, no snow out no. here. It's good. It's, it's green, not yeah. white. It's, it's so far. It's been a good summer. Here we are, close to the end of July. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's been great. We made a ton of progress. Right. Uh, we've got the well in. Uh, we've got power in, and I just need just got a couple of inspections and we'll have our septic done okay. so it's been a big uh, and a big summer been a big summer and we've managed to work that entire time as well so it's it's been busy mm -hmm. um, but it's interesting how four months can change so much um, you know we started with hey we're gonna we're gonna set the little cabin that'll give us an outdoor kitchen we're gonna live in the camper trailer and we're gonna work on the house. And oh, we're gonna build a little tiny shed that'll give us a place to put stuff and store stuff through the winter. It'll be quick and easy to throw up. Well, plans change. That little shed is not gonna be quick and easy. The county wants permitting. It's gonna require a lot of money that takes, takes away from moving in a forward direction towards getting garage and house done. So the new plan as of right now is to, just finish the garage we want to try and just finish the garage in the next four four months. four months august september october november so by december 1st have the garage just shelled in so walls roof footing foundation and then we could store stuff through the winter in that garage So, with the garage being in yellow, we'll be able to get that shelled in in the next four months and get everything out of the weather, including putting our camp trailer in there so we can stay on site through the winter and continue to work uh, and stay here locally without having to leave through the winter. So we'll move our, move our camp trailer inside and, and all of our other equipment, get it in out of the weather and get it situated and then as soon as things start to warm up mm -hmm. next year mm -hmm. then we could start on the house and it may be that that we find hey we're we're comfortable in the garage and things are going great let's let's work a year put away some money so we've got more money for the house and so that's kind of the been the thought is we'll start with the garage mm -hmm. and then as, as time and money allow we'll move to the house so if we move in the garage and shell it then we could go upstairs and finish an apartment up there very true and then as t money allows we could shell the house finish the main floor and then as time and money allow we could go upstairs and finish the house. And if, if it takes us three or four or five years, mm -hmm. so be it. we could be very comfortable and it would be no problem at all. Years ago, um, maybe 10 years ago, I was in a position, business was great, things were going good, I was on top of the world, and I had a great big monster home, and, and the economy took a turn, and as a contractor, builder, um, that downturn affected me where my income changed dramatically. And with that change, uh, supporting my lifestyle and some of those things, 
Um, I went from a point where I could afford the house I was in to a point where I couldn't afford the house I was in. It opened my eyes. Mm -hmm.